All right, let's try this again. Do I still sound like a robot? I'm gonna turn this uh, down a little bit. I personally like robot mama. Well, you don't like robot when that's what your audio sounds like. Silky smooth, yay! Good morning! I don't know about silky smooth. I'm still a little, uh, I'm still a little allergy, uh, allergy headed this morning to, uh, sound silky smooth. You're grounded on Destiny 2 again because you deleted Modern Warfare. Too many updates. Well, if it's, uh, uh, I can understand it's too many updates if you, um, if you have a data cap. <clears throat> Yesterday was vertigo. Today is full on headache. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Good morning, gun. Y'all let me know if uh, the landscaper gets too loud. But you get to meet the new nephew today. He's adorable. How late did I stream last night? We streamed for like seven hours last night. We got Janone all the way through from just opening up his ability to um, join a club. Uh, and then when we ended last night, um, I think it said he had three main missions left. So we powered him through most of the story last night. <laughs> Hashtag carry. <laughs> It was fun, though. It was fun. Because it's been so long since we, uh... It's been so long since I played that content. I know it was a blast. Okay. So, P and I are playing Darkestville Castle. Um, which is a new... It came out this week. Uh, point and click adventure game. Y'all know point and click adventure games are one of my... Are some It's one of my favorite genres. Or point and click is one of my favorite genres. You going to get batteries? Okay. So this P gets back with her batteries. The batteries that I told her to go get like 10 minutes ago. Um, but <laughs> the developer is uh, Epic Llama Games. And uh, we got a code for streaming and review purposes. Uh, does P still like Minecraft? Yeah. Nugget, that's so exciting. So I'm I'm getting to the point I'm getting to the point in my life of uh, home ownership that I'm ready to not own a house. <laughs> I've owned a house for twenty probably about twenty five years. Well, in 25 years, you may feel the same. Put it that way. <laughs> it makes more sense financially. Don't worry about it. It's just a pain in the butt sometimes. Yo, click your Amazon link right from your Twitch video last night and bought some RAM. Hope peeps remember to click that Amazon blacksmith. Yes, y'all there. If you look, if you're buying anything from Amazon, if you um, 
look at the the video and your video your video player over on the right hand side you'll see a fly out that uh looks like a little black and white amazon swoosh that's amazon blacksmith one you can go there and you can see um links to all the stuff in my stream set up oh yeah there's hoodies there's hoodies just go ahead and click through and search for your twitch hoodie um I don't know if I put the Twitch hoodies themselves up there, but I can. Um, but there's links to all the things in my setup from cameras and monitors and lights. And I don't know if my new keyboard is up there. And I think I need to buy a new mouse. But that's a whole nother story. Um, yeah, all that's there. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You still buy directly from Amazon. And we get a little kickback for the channel. The piece like you take it too long. What's cat mode? Okay. She's like no, just normal. Oh, you mean my hoodies? You could buy them somewhere. The G513 is on there. Okay, that's my old keyboard. Was a calm and warm place. I'm rocking the but G915 now. Change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a you hush saber. star. <laughs> the townspeople saw this and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid. With a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was unmanifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always Good causing morning. pain. The problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time. And something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. How are we today? I'm doing fine. How are you today, P? How are a you? Sleepy. A little sleepy. Yeah. How are you, Taryn? How's everybody else? I hope you had breakfast too, H2O. Sid the demon. No, we want to watch. No, we don't need to watch this. We can skip the movie. Can we skip the movie? Should we skip the movie? We'll give it a second. You doing all right? You didn't want to go back to work? You don't want to go back to work tomorrow? Oh. I can understand. Are you really, Moto? Clutch the pearls? Are you kidding? You can try it with like a little splash of soy milk, maybe a little sweetener if you want. <laughs> Take a video. Yes, we need a video. Look at the way he runs. <laughs> she, Nuckin, she's not ready for Death Wish. I don't think she'd like Death Wish. It's it's too dark. Too dark. <laughs> Another wonderful night to be a demon, isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see. Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Hamansons' daughter and cut her braid. Of course you did, Nucky. already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. 
So let's just skip it until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative-laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realties. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. I better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up. He is evil. Is it a pack? No, it's loose. So if you have a, a cold brew pot, you just dump it in. Okay, there's a nightstand, a lamp. He wants to get rid of Dan Teapot. Mm -hmm. That's the bathroom door. I don't think Dan's in the bathroom door. Oh. You think Dan's in the bathroom? Okay, so how do so how do we make it? Um, in my pot, I use because um, you know I like mine a little strong. I use one cup of um, the grounds to what's in there um, to a full pot. Yeah, a, one cup of grounds. <laughs> if you like it a little stronger than that, you can use a cup. Uh, and an eighth, but I've been using one cup. We hear colors, yes. Look at the fish. Okay, let's we'll see. There we go. Touch it. Look at it. Talk to it. Oh yeah, talk to, look at, and pet. <gasps> let's pet. It. Let's pet the fish. He's inside his, He's tank. inside his tank. Fine. Well, we won't. Can we talk to him? Hi, Hi fish. Domingo. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of Dan Teapot. That's the kitchen door. How do we get rid of Dan Teapot? Where's Dan Teapot at? I'd rather not open it. A giant rat could escape and bite me. Oh, well, we want that. Where's the toilet? The bath? Why do you have the kitchen entrance the bathroom no here's the bathroom right here oh here the door is locked luckily for me i'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom hmm this is their house it, I, it is i think so if you were dan teapot where would you be oh okay we can click a, a rail what's this the old clock Alright. I think Dan Teapot's gotta be downstairs. <gasps> Look at the painting of Mr. Buttons! It perfectly captures Mr. Buttons' personality. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Look at the bicycle. No, we don't need to look at the bicycle. The bicycle. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think she got it. I think she got it. All right, so here we go. There's the basement door, and there's to the yard. <laughs> I do believe Dan Teapot has a... Uh, Put a board up over our door. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Hey, Wanda. Good morning. Good morning, DJ Hallow. Dan Teapot, let me out. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you are blocking the entrance to my castle? 
Is it at a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? How many times have we been through this? Why don't you go away? I have a di- I have diabolical schemes to follow. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. Bah! Forget it. Which one? Uh, let's see. Isn't it past your bedtime, Danny boy? Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday. Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. Mm, okay. Let's see. Did you notice you were blocking? How many times have we been through this? Why don't you go away? Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. <laughs> um, how about why don't you go away? We won't you we won't threaten away? you. I have diabolical schemes to follow. <laughs> Forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh-uh. Leave before Leave I hurt you. Before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mech that I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Alright. So he was... You will never leave this castle again. You're trying to function. You already walked into a door. No! Alright. So he gave us... He didn't intentionally give us the key. But he gave us the key. So let's go see if we can... Uh, Fix the you basement. I'll need the basement key. I have it. Is it in here? There it is. All right, let's go. Let's do this. The more I eat cereal, the more I hate it. Then stop eating the cereal. What else is over here? There's key over here. Let's get that one. We might need that one for something. I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. Here we go. Now we got a bathroom key. It's... Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. <laughs> Papers in the box. What is this? Cyborg chicken. A not quite finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul and the soul slot to work. If my theory is correct. So we gotta find a soul. Is that something on the desk right there? A screwdriver bit. I must have left this here after working on the inner circuits of the cybernetic chicken. I think you can pick her up. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. That's the broken trapdoor mechanism. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Okay, so we gotta find a chain and some cogs. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Let's see if something's in the refrigerator. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. <laughs> Dan stole my sandwich? Right. That was a cuss word, Mama. You said this. It was rated E. It is rated E. <laughs> All right, we need um, a chain and some cogs. You think there's a chain and some cogs in the uh, cyborg chicken? It's too heavy to carry around. Okay, I guess not. Uh... It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Turns out that's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. All right. 
That's the second Waldo reference you heard today? Really? Oh, look, there's a chain. That looks like a chain, doesn't it? Take that bicycle chain. To the inventory you go. There's the fish tank, the coat stand, paintings. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. The first was on a friend's rerun. Oh. Twitchy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. But I already got the bits in the basement. Ha ha. Alright. <laughs> so we don't want to go in the kitchen because the giant rat's going to bite us, right? We can go in the bathroom. Though. Yeah, we got the bathroom key now. Okay, so let's check around. Let's check the wardrobe. Nothing here seems useful. Here seems useful. I don't I want anything that. from there. You want to touch the teddy bear? What? You want to stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. <laughs> Maybe there's a, I bet there's a cog the in the clock. Screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. But I can open it with my screwdriver. Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. Woohoo! Look at that. Don't worry, it was already broken. Give me the cogs. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. Don't worry, it was already broken. What is that? A sock? Let's take the sock. It's just one. I don't want just one sock. We don't need that sock for something. I've already read this book twice. I think I need to let it stew a little before I go in for round three. Can we take the cane? There we go. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. All right. Uh, oh, we need the, the key for the bathroom door, right? Mm, there's a key. And there's the bathroom door. All right, let's see what we got in here. What are we checking first? Go deep. You can't get in the closet. Scratch what you want. You're not good. And I did remember to check the, uh, I mean, to change the code already. Let's check the laundry chest. I don't want anything from there. It's full of dirty clothes. Let's see. Bathroom mirror? It's okay where it is right now. What is this? The medicine cabinet. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's full of oil. It's See, full of oil. I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. Wow, Sway. He's evil. <laughs> Okie dokie, good. What's that? Oh, let's take the soap. Non-abrasive soap. Now I can wash my hands properly. We're going to need that, I'm sure. I read them when I don't have anything else to do. Free. Okay. So we got a chain and some cogs. How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? Physically <laughs> possible? Okay. Um I'm going to I'm going to do a cheat. Cuz I saw Gun do this. Now it's properly lubed. Now it's properly lubed. 
It is rated E10. I'm not telling you a story. He's like, if there's one more bad word, <laughs> Sid's gonna get in trouble. How did the how did they the review slide as for E? <laughs> They've already said two bad words. This is interestingly rated. Good morning, new bold one. Nubola says hello, Sophista, hello P, how's things? Good, we're playing a point and click adventure game that was rated E10 and P's mad because he said two bad words. <laughs> Let's have to beep all the bad words. <laughs> we'll have to beep the bad words. I'll beep them for you, okay? I'll beep them. Oh, you'll beep them? Okay, yeah, P I is... Beep, beep, wait. beep. Yeah, B P is our new um yeah, she's our new sensor. Okay, there's some cogs. And an oily chain. Presto. Oh yeah. Achievement unlocked, repair guy. You got talent for that. It's working as intended as it is right now. All right, let's go get rid of Dan Teapot. Hungry Wolf Jail Lever. Huh? Uh, what is this one? Trap Door Lever. What is the Hungry Wolf Jail Lever? I kind of want to push that. Do we push the Hungry Wolf Jail Lever or the Trap Door Lever? Trap Door? Okay, fine. Fine. Hey Dan, let me out. Let me out. <laughs> You'll never be able to. <laughs> Hi Dan, would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best, coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from demon hunters. To start on flee. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never do it. Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. But, uh, I should probably be wasting time with maniacal laughter and going. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do after all. You like the humor? So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. I don't have enough cheese. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkest Hill Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville, and that's the only castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt. Those must be the Romero brothers? What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard is there a game bomb. audio echo? About a neutron bomb um, I don't know. Is there? What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay. All the plans involving cooking are null. Nah. If 
like half my repertoire. Like half my repertoire. The job is done, sir. That demon is now it might be echoing from my headset because the Good mic is closer to my again. closer to me. I'll turn this down a little bit. So I think that's all. Goodbye and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, did they just kill uh, a Dan Teapot? They didn't recognize me. <laughs> oh, once again, my wit and wait a minute, my castle. What were they doing there? Is it uh, better now? <gasps> they took him away. My lovely fish Domingo. No one messes with you. Now this is perfect. It is okay. They took our fish. They took our pet. They thought he was a demon. Well, maybe he is a demon. But he's not the demon they were looking for. Okay, this means war. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. Okay, so I guess we we should be uh We should be looking for uh, our fish. Dan's still out of it. I can't believe how high you have the hydrate potion now. Girl, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> yeah, y'all were trying to help me go to the bathroom every three and a half minutes. He's a pretty fierce looking fish he is. Can redeem to hydrate. My water bottle is almost empty. We'll still hydrate. <laughs> Drink it, air. She told me to drink air. Where's the emo for that? <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to town. Maybe two world map. Here we go. Going to town. If you were the Romero brothers, where would you be? What did they say? Did they say where they were going? Oh my gosh! To the castle. Let's go to the town center. Using all the elements. I think they're definitely at the tavern. They only sell root beer at the tavern. Because. Oh yeah, see here everybody is. They're playing chess. This is a big guy. Pretty sure he's one of the Romero brothers, right? What's on the menu? It reads, choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. Caramelized duck with bacon, bacon with caramelized duck, duck with caramelized bacon, duck with bacon all caramelized with a pinch of pepper. And if you're against the natural order of the world, don't forget to taste our vegetarian option. <laughs> Talk to Giovanni. Oh, can't okay. use Giovanni. He will punch me if I do so. And trust me, is we don't want him to punch him. I want to talk Hello. to him, not punch him. Bye. So how's business going? Oh, how's the business going? It certainly is not going good. Thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. The stranger. Do you know the stranger, dude? You know hey, Billy. Stranger over there. You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. Okay. Well, I, I want to find out who this stranger out. is. See you soon. Let's go talk to the big guy. See if he can uh, tell us where our fish is. It's a pretty big guy. He looks kind of intimidating. We don't want to grab him. Let's talk to him. Hello. So you are one of the Romero brothers. 
Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. <laughs> he thinks I'm dead teapot. Um, where's that demon you recently captured? Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry. He cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But, then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is... I am such a moron. We will crush him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see that mysterious key you have. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. You okay? No. Is it wrapped around your hair? No. Like this. Hmm? Oh, that's weird. Here. Let's see what you got now. It's Probably wasn't plugged in all the way. Okay. Thanks, Mama. Uh huh. Her sound got messed up in her headset. Um, what did he tell us about the ye? Did it open? I thought. I love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. Okay, where's the rest of the group? Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. Mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. Okay, so let's go find the mayor. Bye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Well, one of the brothers is talking to the mayor, so we'll find him. Because we got to get all three keys. What's this? So we can get our fish back. These dudes stole our fish. Who's this dude? Some guy. It's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Let's talk to him. Hi. Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me. I have to keep working on that weather machine. <laughs> he wants to ruin it. Um... Hydrate. Ugh. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Good morning, Wolfbang. I wish I had coffee in front of me. I do not have a water bottle. I didn't make coffee this morning. All right, let's see. We should order coffee. You want coffee? Okay. <laughs> She's like, yes. <clears throat> I'm fine. How are you? All right, let's see. Um, I know you haven't touched your drink. You haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they use is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm going to drink it eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. Give me your drink, dude, sir. Okay, let's see. Um, where are you staying? Where are you staying? Hello, Rose. The tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Dockettsville. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes, that is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain the bleachy smell. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. He's staying in the closet. Um, what are you doing in the street? What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? Mm, no, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. Probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Thanks for the advice. Okay. Is your business... Oh, he was just there on vacation. Um, alright. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon. Alright, we gotta go to the mayor's house. You're getting a new TV today? 50 inches? Nice. Hey, Janone. Happy Saturday. That's a big TV. That does sound nice. Okay, so big question is new new big TV. What's the first thing you're going to watch and or play, Wolfbane? All right. Mayor's office, mayor's house. What is this little thing? A toy soldier. Can we take it? I used to collect these. But then I found out I'm allergic to the cheap alloy they're made of. Let's take it. I'd rather not. I'm allergic to this kind of cheap alloy. Fine. Here's a demon chest. Inside fish is in that. trapped my lovely fish, Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. This will work. My controller. Okay, can you hold this, please? It's on my computer. Sorry, more it's not. I got it. Give me the crystal. Let's see. The mayor's. I just saw something that said something else. Hold on. The stairs. Mrs. Johnson. There it is. The mayor's agenda. Okay. Here, Mrs. Johnson keeps the mayor's daily schedule. Janelle says, uh, Happy Saturday, P. Let's go talk to Mrs. Johnson. She's Mrs. Hi. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. Let's go talk to her. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. 
What's that big chest doing here? What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. <laughs> Her voice. Uh, this looks very classic Luke and Cyrus. It does. It's made by a developer called Epic Llama. Um, and it does, it's, it is a very classic point and click adventure. Wolfbane says, hi P, hope you are well today. Hi. She's sleepy. <laughs> what What's the mayor, mayor doing? doing? He's talking with one of the Ramiro brothers, a woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> that would be me, you know. All right, let's see. Johnson. What? We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. You'd say Pete needs coffee, but the idea is a little terrifying. Ooh, there's a liquor cabinet. Here, the mayor stores his booze. Boobies. <laughs> booze, not boobs. I know you like to say boobs instead of booze. Yeah, they're boobs. That's how you pronounce it. Oh boobs. wow, bruh. Okay. Well, I'm family friendly. Stop talking about boobs. They've already cussed twice, Mama. I think that's gone out the window, Mama. Final Fantasy fourteen is only twenty dollars. Uh, yeah, the the base game is usually only twenty dollars. I think the base game also includes Heaven's Word now. So it's twenty dollars, and it includes your first month of um, your first month subscription. All right, let's see. There's a door. What is this? A painting. It's a dude with a crocodile. A cursed golden trophy. I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. Once I played a prank on the local kids with something like this. I put a candy container on the street, but instead of normal candies, I left a bunch of salt-coated ones. <laughs> also, I put an anti-personnel landmine below it. The explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few weeks. Nope, don't even think about it. Bye, Felicia. Alright, let's see. What's behind this door? It's the door that leads to the mayor's office. The door is locked. Hmm. It's a pretty inaccurate portrait of the mayor of Dawkinsville. Secrets fan. There's nothing behind the picture. I'm I'm checking. I already checked that. There's no strong box behind that painting, and no, I don't want to steal this horrible painting. Fine. What about this painting? Another totally biased depiction of our mayor. Definitely not the kind of painting that I would add to my collection. Just make sure you keep her over there. Thank you. You can claim I'm busy as much as you want. Okay, we can't go upstairs. Can't click those. Those are some books. Old books about public administration and taxing. I already read them when I was running my mayoral campaign. Okay, where did she say they were? Hold on. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening. Okay. What is the mayor doing? He's talking with one of the Ramiro brothers. A woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. 
And why do they call themselves? It I don't know. Okay. I dare you to lift that big trophy over there. I will not lift that. Why? You cast a gypsy curse on it. What? How do you know? I was here the night you did it. Don't you remember? You even asked me for a black candle and four pistachios. Oh. Yeah, I recall now. By the way, uh, do you have any more useful items to lend me? Like a no. lockpick, a pair of scissors, or a sniper rifle? No. And go do your stuff somewhere else. No. Okay. Well, Her voice just changed. Dozen. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. Okay, so what do we have? We have a screwdriver, a cane, and a non abrasive bar of soap. Okay. Um, so I guess there's nothing else we can do here? A sniper rifle. Yeah, her, her, it did change. Her voiceover did change. All right. Um, it wasn't just my. It wasn't just you. All right. Let's see. Maybe let's check the town square. Yep. Somebody from the office did a last minute voiceover that they needed. Look at the bird. He's cute. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. I know he needs a sniper rifle. Let's talk to him. The bird that is. awake at this time of night, little fellow. I see. You have a night owl complex. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. He looks like me. Jeffrey Badsock. It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. Let's talk to him. Hello, I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Jeffrey Badsock is not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing a town kid with your little flamethrower? And you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel. Yeah, but someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. <laughs> I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solvent. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful, but it's still better than water. Can I have some? Can I have some of your glue solvent? Uh-uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? I want that. I need the glue solvent for the nope. medicine chest in my bathroom. And the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Did you see anything Did you unusual see tonight? Anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Nope, so we gotta done. find him. And now I see everything in black and white. All right, we need Bye. to find him a drink. Bye, champ. So that we can have his glue solvent, and it's not healthy for him to drink glue solvent. Just saying. All righty, it's time to go over and and finally meet your new nephew. Yay! Be safe, wear a face mask. P says be safe, wear a face mask.
Okie dokie, baby. Thanks, all. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you. Enjoy your visit. I would like to place an order. Place an order. Well, if you want to order something, you better pay your debt first. And I recommend you do it pronto. How much do I owe? I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer. 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches. They were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with okay. me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you, you had coffee three different ways. What three coffee. ways did you have them and did you like it? All right, we need to find some money. I better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. Can we go in here? Oh, can't go in there. Giovanni, there's the menu. There's the menu sign. Can we talk to these people over here? Gerard is the mortal enemy. I'm waiting here. They have been battling each other in chess matches of epic proportion since I was little. It's a can full of trash. Black. Some vanilla soy milk. Vanilla soy milk and a little sugar. All right. It's a can full of trash. I know the expression "one man's trash is another man's treasure," but this time it is definitely just trash. It's fine. T rules. <laughs> How much cup? You have one cup? Um, yeah. I usually have, to be perfectly honest, I usually have one pot. I try to have one pot. I lost interest in no more than. That it's against the game's rules to make your chess pieces shoot laser beams at your opponent. Let's see. It's the tavern dartboard. No one has played with it for years. The darts are heavily attached to the board, and I cannot remove them. That explains why no one has played with this thing for years. Oh, I know where we can get a drink. This dude is giving us his drink. He just doesn't know it yet. Give me your drink. Oh, odd looking plant. Here, let's grab this. Can we grab it? I cannot cut it with my bare hands. It's like it were made out of rubber. But to be honest, even if I could, I don't want to carry this plant around. It smells funny. You smell funny. Okay. I need his drink. It's a blind guy. Hello. Hi. You drink a lot of tea, but it's usually ice. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it, eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? Oh. No. How do we get his drink I from him? I to attend to. See you soon.
You drink a lot of tea, but it's usually iced. I drink a lot of iced tea too. I have like half a small teaspoon of decaf coffee and a large mug with lots of milk. And today you added some hot chocolate. That's nice. What, why are you putting half a teaspoon of decaf coffee in a large mug with a lot of milk? Why not just drink hot milk? Because that don't sound like it even tastes like coffee. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, what's in the town alley? All right, let's see. What's in this barrel? The barrel is filled with a mess of rope. All right, can I get the rope? Too messy and heavy to carry around. That is definitely a washing machine. Lobo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. Who's a good boy, Ruffo? Who's a good boy? Ruffo does not care for us. Mm -hmm. I know that having a hook instead of a hand would look great on me, but I will pass this time. You're back. Do you have coffee? That's a big question. That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. Okay, so we can't walk past his house, but I want stuff. What do you expect? It's full of trash. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, I get it. You don't want me to go there. I didn't want to go there anyway. Blasted dog. I can't reach the handle. It's too tall. Okay. But I have a cane. I bet I could do it with the cane, can't I? Haha. -ha. Find a way to keep this door. Now I gotta find. Can I use the cane? The idea is good, but this won't fit Ooh. very well. Yes, it's all mine. <laughs> Fine. Can I use this? The idea is good, but this won't fit very well. Not a brace of soap. That doesn't make yeah, sense. Is good, but this won't fit very well. Um, let's see. What happens if we walk away? Oh, it opens back up. Well, that didn't work. I need something to, uh, <laughs> it's perfect emote. Um, let's go to the graveyard. Bones, definitely bones. Just got among us. What? There's the weird little guy. Pile of bones. A puddle of mud. Someone's tombstone. All right. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. So, we're going to be playing some Among Us tonight. 
which is a video game of social deception. Where um, at, uh, up to eight people can play, and we play together, um, but one one of one of us will be kind of a traitor. Remember me as the non-bald great man I was, Gonzo Smith, doctor, lawyer, adventurer. We're gonna play at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The compulsive liar support group will not be the same without you. Is that P practicing her her spear skills? It looks like he's training. Looks like he's training. We don't want to punch the weird guy. He's got a spear. But he thinks we're Dan Hello. Teapot. Who goes there? Oh, it is you, Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, do you have any idea where the rest of your team is? I know that already. Your friends told me you can lead me to the chest key you have. You can lend me your chest key. Let's see if your that friends works. Told me you can lend me the chest key you have. There must be a misunderstanding. We are not allowed to give our keys to anyone. I'm pretty sure they. That would work. Misunderstanding. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing in the middle of the night? Why is he in a cemetery in the middle of the night? Me? Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so... What's a Pie Raptor? I've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> you say that now, my lad. But if one night you're all alone in a dark alley... I'd like apple pies. Receive a shadowy reptilian oh, it supports body, ten people. Nice. Of apple pie infects the air. You'd better not come crying to me. But I understand you. I was once like you. A reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the Big Pie Raptor until that sad night. I remember it as if hey, Stocky. I was going to a dance party. Good morning. With a brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, and his nothing worked. But one day. One day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, Bob. Just calm down. Good evening. Let's see. Oh, hey, look, it's the hey, big pie raptor. Look, it's the big pie raptor. Where? Where? It's hiding inside the crypt. I just saw it. At last, you are cornered, you filthy apple pie carrying animal. Wait, wait a minute. I've already been through this a couple of times. Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. I will not fall for that again. But I just saw it. Oh, yeah. Do you have a photo, footprints, a piece of pie, or something else to prove it? No. Not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not. Oh, nice whisper person. Time. Seven PM there. Okay. Mm, fine. I have other matters to attend to. I want these bones though. And stay vigilant. I wonder if we can use these bones. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. That's okay. 
I wonder if we can take the bones to uh I wonder if we can take the bones to block the um what do you call it? The dog's washing machine shut. Hmm. It's too dark to see, see. Inside, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall, which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination. Can you make a pie stealing monster out of them? You never know. Was it making a noise again? Unplug it and replug it if it's still going. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. Mm -hmm. Can we take some of the mud? I don't think it's a good idea to put mud in my pot. I've tried in the past, and the sensation is horrible. I think if we use the bones and the uh, mud and everything else together, quite possibly. All right, so we're gonna try to use this bone to, to trap the dog. I'll be sitting here gonna fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. I love you. Good morning. Afternoon, good evening. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Rosie, do you run the French radio? How's the game going? I think it's fun. It's question. P says it's questionable because they use cuss words. It, this yeah, is supposed to be an E-rated game. Okay, the bone didn't work. It's supposed to be an E-rated game. E for everyone. The idea is good, but this won't fit very well. So my only other thing is that I wonder if what we need to do is glue the door shut. <laughs> Juno says, I understand, Pete. I wore glasses instead of contacts today, so I'm ready for any surprise naps. <laughs> well, you were up late. I mean, because you usually go to bed early-ish. Right? And you were up late playing, uh... Okay. Huh. I mean, it's like I know what I need. I just don't know how to get it yet. I feel like there's something in the mayor's house. You do. You're usually in bed by 10 your time. And what time did you go to bed last night? It was pretty late when we finished. We finished streaming about 11 your time. So that was already an hour past your bedtime. <laughs> oh, the liquor cabinet. Oh. That's okay. It's fun. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. It sure was. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. Almost midnight, you think? All right, there we go. We got, we got, we got boobs. Yeah, this definitely should not be um, rated E because there is, they, there's legitimate alcohol reference. And class sports. And cuss words. <laughs> Don't they have to like go through tests and stuff? And like go over all these people to make sure it's... Yeah, well, the, the whole process is questionable. We'll talk about that later though. In detail. You and I. Okay. Alright, so now we have this. We can give them this for the glue solvent. Um, 
You just got the new Xbox store. It's weird and really nice. Um, I know they say it loads faster, and I know it's in beta, so maybe when it's out, it'll be fine, but mine was loading really slow last night. <clears throat> but I like it too. You remember that episode of the podcast? It was really interesting. Yeah, it, it, it is interesting, but it, it doesn't always work well because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that slipped under the radar. It's super snappy. Yeah, not for me it wasn't. All right, bruh, I'm going to give you this bottle of boobs, and you can give me your glue solvent. Look, you said boobs. I know. All right, glue solvent. We got it. Now I know what to do. We got to go back to my house, get the glue off the medicine cabinet. And maybe whatever is in the medicine cabinet. Definitely not going in the kitchen where the giant rat's going to get us. All right, there we go. I question why the uh, medicine cabinet was glued shut in the first place. Presto. That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, it's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. All right, let's take Let's take the toilet paper. Extra soft. Let's take the sleeping pill. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. And. Okay, well, it's open, isn't it? It's already open. I can't take the glue? Hmm. Well, that's questionable. I thought I had my homemade medicine in. Now that I think of things, made. Okay, fine. It's me. A fake wanted poster made by Dan Teapot. I keep it as a memento. It reads, "Dead or alive, Sid the Demon." One million berry. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm still listening. You're still listening? Rosie looks so comfy, so I thought I'd join her, but then she moved, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think peace gonna last much longer. Here seems useful. All right, we checked all that. I'm gonna check the kitchen. That bathroom does not seem very useful. <laughs> there's that, there's a lot of questionable things in that bathroom. I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. I'm going to flip this jail switch. Oh, no, that's the Hungry Wolf jail lever. Okay, we don't want to do that because I think that's where we have Dan Teapot. He's still knocked out down there. He is still stunned. What a weakling. It was just a small anvil. All right, 
is out. Mm. All right. Well, we got toilet paper and this is the trash of my a cabin. sleeping pill. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. Um, no, the bones are are Waldo. Uh, the moss on this fence smells terrible. I should clean it someday. Cause that's the question, the answer to where's Waldo. Um, he's in that, he's in that, in that cage, or was at some point. Okay, so we have. We got what we needed from him. Can we give the dog the sleeping pill? Asking for a friend. All right, so we still need the drink. I'm not sure how we'd get the drink. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> We have a sleeping pill, we have toilet paper, we have a bone, we have a bar of non-abrasive soap, we have a cane, and a screwdriver. Oh, you forgot one thing. And I need to uh, get, sorry, I need to get the uh, drink from the blind guy. I need to... Lock the dog in the uh, washing machine. And then ultimately figure out how to get these three keys. Now what you say, baby? Hydrate, mama. No, that was not, there's not hy hydrate button. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta push the hydrate button. Alright, I'm going this way. Can I go in that back door? No, that's world map. Wolf Fang redeemed hydrate. Thanks, Wolf Fang. Thanks. <laughs> Terrors. Oh my gosh. Times two. Times two. You're fired. <laughs> there you go, P. Oh my God. Two hydrates in a stretch. Oh, well, you can't stretch because I'm not moving, so. Yeah, you are, because you're about to go get me some tea. I'm too sleepy to get tea. <laughs> Ooh, thunk. Rose, you want to go get me some tea? She said no. She said no. She's a, she's a jerk. Everybody's a jerk today. Sounds like something would have ride with that stretch. That was just me being a klutz and knocking over my water bottle. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to stand up and stretch. And mute so you don't hear my bones cracking. I like it stone cold. <laughs> I like hot tea too. Okay. Let's see. I want to say. Rosie likes her tea cold too. Let's see if we can give this dog the sleeping pill. And then we can get past them. That's not going to work. Um, 
Okay, so if we close this, See, I thought we could use the bone to block it short. Can we tie it shut with toilet paper? No. Um, I have no idea of what to keep that door shut. Okay. I tried the bone. The bone didn't work. That was the reason I went and got the bone in the first place. Is I thought I could use it to uh, block the door shut. Oh, I wonder if I could give him the bone. Is that what you meant? Coated in peanut butter always works. I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> no, it's for the dog, not for me. Oh. Okay, we'll see if we'll, if he'll eat a human bone. If we can make him gnaw on a human bone. <laughs> Hey, not my idea. It feels for whoever's bone that is. Would you like it when you're dead for a dog to be eating your bones, Mama? Nope, didn't work. That's probably for the better. He didn't want the bone either. That's dark. <laughs> he wanted it anyway. Didn't work. Hmm. Somebody's tombstone. Crypt. Tombstones are hard to carry around. I'd rather Can't not carry that around. Can't carry the mud in my pocket. I already tried that. All right, let's let's see if we can uh, slip the. Um... I don't know why we want to do it at this point. Cause at first I was trying to get the drink from the uh, the the blind guy, so that I could give it to the the dude over in the town square. But I found something else for him to drink. Um, but I wonder if we can, cause he can't see us. This is horrible. <laughs> he can't see us. So let's see if we can. I can't use the sleeping pill with that. Can we? I was going to see if we could put the sleeping pill in his drink. But that would be very nice. Um, can we give him a cane? It is not. That's why I thought. I can't use the cane with that. Okay, I was going to see if we could switch his cane for his that stick, because it looks thinner, and I was wondering if I could uh, use that to. It's the town river, full of calm, warm water, and killer piranhas. It has the eighties of an ethics in the nineteen the ethics of a nineties game. I can't use the sleeping pill with that. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work either. Okay, I'm thoroughly confused at this point. Hold on. And my eye is itchy. So we have a screwdriver. A cane, a bar of non-abrasive soap, a human bone, presumably human. A roll of toilet paper and a sleeping pill. <laughs> you just, no. Okay, what needs to be slippery, hmm. Can't cut that because I don't have anything to cut that yet. Hmm. 
at what point did you switch to the did you go to the walkthrough uh gun let's see let's talk to walrus again hello hey Here we go. Let's see. Um, right around this point. Ah, uh, where's that demon? I'd love to see the key. Of course, he won't show it to me. It must be great being a demon hunter. I know where the team is. Oh, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh, yes. You mean a lot of people do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. It's great. <laughs> hmm. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. What was the... Uh, there's always going to be updates. 66 gigs. That's That doesn't sound right. I was gonna say there's always gonna be updates because they do the the new maps and um, like the new the new content. Oh, there was a problem. Okay, I was gonna say, but there's always gonna be updates as long as they're pushing pushing new maps and new content every week. They blamed it on Microsoft. <laughs> it's a statue of the fountain. All right. I meant to talk to him. Here we go. Hello? He seems to be a little too busy to talk. Okay, he didn't want to talk to us now that he's got his uh his new bottle. Fine, Jeffrey Bad Sock. Okay, let's fix some bugs and exploits. Can we close this? Can we close this? Because maybe I need to turn into the pig. Can I? I prefer not to touch. No, that didn't work. Horrible, disfiguring gypsy curse. I won't be helping the mayor to redecorate his house. The door is locked. Hmm. I can't talk to that. Can I grab this rope? That would be helpful. That's a no. Can't touch any of that. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. Um, we already did this. Can I talk to the mayor? May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? 
I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, Mr. Right. Dear. I need to put my appointment. Mrs. Johnson keeps the mayor's day in here. I can't talk to that. The idea is great, but Mrs. Johnson will kill me if she sees me. Let's see. What can we give her? Can we give her a sleeping pill? Ask her for a friend. I can't use the sleeping pill with that. That's a no. Doesn't need to be slippery. That doesn't need to be slippery. How you know it doesn't need to be slippery? Okay. You think it's only two terabytes? Two terabytes is a pretty good size. <clears throat> I, w I think what would help a lot of people, though, would be if they could choose between um, downloading, like, just like the the standard definition and the 4K textures for games. It would make it a lot easier for folks who don't have enough storage. But, you know, the games are just going to get bigger. The games are just going to get bigger. They're going to be even bigger with the next generation since the next uh, Xbox are going to go, Xbox stuff, the games are going to go up to 8K. So there's going to be no way around it except getting more storage. Cause I think I have like my internal plus like 13 terabytes on this uh, Xbox that I have in here. AVG and Vector. Oh, that's the, was that the rhythm game that uh, Moto was playing? Okay, now that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the cemetery. Maybe we can make this dude fall. Can we use the slippery soap on him? Then I might switch games because I know I know all the, I know what needs to be done. I just need to figure out in what order to do it. That doesn't need to be slippery. Can I take more bones? I already have one bone in my inventory. You need to get an external drive for your PS4. You're always out of room. I have an extra external that I need to go ahead and hook up to my PS4. Because I always have to uninstall stuff to... Uh, I always have to uninstall stuff to uh, install new stuff, and I don't. I don't really think about it much because I don't use it. But um, P does, because that's what she plays uh, Final Fantasy on. So we shall see. And I have an extra one, so I probably should. 
All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch games because, like I said, I know what needs to be done. I just have to figure out the order, and that has got to be the most boring thing in the world to try to see me try to figure out the order. Of what needs to go where. So I say it's never boring here. <laughs> I say we play Ooblets for a little while and then I'll I'll call it Grace. And we'll be back tonight to play some Among Us. We'll be back tonight to play some Among Us. Um, which is going to be fun. How do I save? Hi, Rosie. Yeah, they talked me into playing Among Us. <laughs> Sorry, just came back. Yeah, we're gonna play some Among Us tonight. Release the wolves! Release the wolves! <laughs> um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something. To do Nine with the p.m. The Eastern Standard Time. Throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. Wow, dude. Wow. I like it where it is right now. And no, there is nothing behind that. That is dark. Okay. Yeah, we'll play for some um, Among Us for a little while tonight. For a little while. I don't want a hernia. I can't talk. I don't need to talk. That's my super comfy bed. Well, it isn't that comfy, but at least it's a bed. Uh, so this is game auto save. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I hope it auto saves. Oh, yeah, look, we're getting a Call of Duty update. <laughs> you might watch Doctor Strange on your new TV. Ooh. You forgot what that game is, Among Us. It is a social deception game. So up to 10 people can play. Um, it's a video game and and one of one of the people is going to be a traitor. Traitor. Um, and you have to try to figure out who it is. <clears throat> you have to try to figure out who it is before before they can uh, do bad things. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. <laughs> He's like, that sounds fun. All right, let's switch over to Ooblets. We'll play Ooblets for just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go find some lunch. And we can hang out. It's an early birthday gift. It'll be here today. What? Nice. Hi. Hi. You're still here. 
You might be installing Cooking Simulator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are so excited about that. To me. It's going to be so dumb. Why am I standing outside in the rain? Ooh. Happy Saturday, Sakiana. So I figured out some things by watching other people play this game about like the ooblets and the ooblet houses and how to get the ooblets to do the things they're supposed to do. So first we're gonna do is go to bed because it's dark and it's raining. Um, thank you, I know that. Today's oobs. I did good. How are you, Sakiana? Okay, let's see. We need five quip tarts, three fluty cariocas, two carrot cakes. Oh, God, we need a lot of stuff. And we can't make any of that. Okay. Milou has a hanker for a curly horn. I have to go see if there's any at the... Uh, at the doohickey. Okay, not yet for that. Okay. So, can I... Move this... I gotta remove the ooblets first. Okay, so lump stump, clobber, and derbo. Now we can put ooblets in there. We had lump stump. Wait. Did I break it because I moved them? Oh, I moved the wrong one. Okay. I gotcha. Could be happier. <laughs> okay. Remove. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Put that 
there. Place it there for now. For now, we'll move it in a minute. Okay. Now we can put the rest of our little oobs in here. I put one of my follow babies in the in the wrong one. Love stump. Put my follow babies in the wrong one. Durable. Gotta go get my follow baby out of the other one. Give me back my follow baby. So the new store is mega slow when trying to buy stuff and it doesn't work. Oh. In a real game of funk, you can't decide what to play. Nothing really appeals. Let's see. Story of Seasons. <laughs> That's just me. I really, I'm really enjoying Story of Seasons on the Switch. So the secret to uh, the getting the ooblets to uh, like actually do stuff on the farm, yeah, let's move that there, is that they have to, um, it has to be like immediately around their house. So if you put things immediately around the oob house, it will, they will, um, Keep up that area. Like they'll weed it and, but it's a very limited area. Because I was like, why aren't they doing anything? I was like, I got all these ooblets and my farm is just a mess all the time. No, I don't wanna tell that. But that is the answer. I missed it. What was Sakiana asking Gun if they if she played yet? Oh, Fall Guys. I played Fall Guys. I'm so bad at that game. You had to get your first win. I, I have not gotten my first win. But you know what? I wonder if I would do better at that game on um, PlayStation. Because I could use a controller. Um, I've been playing on PC. Or if I just hook the P uh, controller up to the PC. I think it's, it's harder for me because it's keyboard and mouse.
I should also play it off stream because a lot of games that I'm really bad at on stream, I'm I'm um, I'm good at if I'm playing uh, off stream where I can like focus and I'm not like focusing on chat and doing 57 other things. Drink some bean juice. Get some energy back. Well, my goal is to clean this. This stuff, the only problem with um, keeping your farm clean, at least for me, is that the stones and the weeds and the sticks respawn so blooming fast. Some of the challenges are very luck based and it already caused the family fight. Oh no! <laughs> Alright. I look very peppy. It's the coffee. Get some. I think I have 10. Do I have 10 nerdies? Uh, yes, I have 443 nerdies. You are welcome to my nerdies. Ten moves and fifteen clocklets. Oh, I do have one. I do have these. Woofoo. I earned a new badge. Incoming. Thank you. Dear constituent, enjoy this personalized letter from the mayor's office congratulating you on your badge. Thank you, Tinsel. I got a farming badge. And 200 wishes. Oh, yeah. Wait, you want more nernies? I got more nernies. Oh, no, that was old. Okay, hey, bruh. I have this for you. I gotta get rid of this friendship sticker and send some other stuff. A sticker, a basic sprinkler, 50 nernies. Oh yeah. Thank you for the monies. <gasps> Look at you. What do you need? You need oodles. Do I know how to make oodles? If I don't, I need to learn how to. <gasps> what are you? Look at this little one. Uber's, uh, it's X Xbox and PC. It is Xbox and PC. Um, who knows what it'll end up coming out on on Sakyan. It's in early access. It is an indie development team of, like, two. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of games would be huge on other platforms, but, yeah, when you've got, you know, one or two people working on them, you don't really have much choice. All right, let's see. Yeah. 
it was one yeah it was one guy he was working on it forever though <laughs> like forever forever um he's still working on it i mean and he had sold uh like or was using other companies for distribution and stuff um and it, i think it did, wasn't working very well all right here you can have my basic sprinkler um I don't think it was working very well, that relationship. So he like recently like cut ties with all those other uh, companies that he was using. And I got a token. Bleeping cracking, redeemed hydrate. Ports are hard for small teams because you have to learn a new console and adapt to the code. Yeah, it's hard. And they haven't they haven't even finished the game yet, so. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate you. Alright. Let's go see what else we can do. We need some monies. We need some monies. We on the money bus. Because I need... And I also need to make some oodles. Because I need one of those little dudes. I need one of those little dudes. Something fierce. Let's get some cans. Save the sea turtles, as P says. Oh, who is this? Oh, that's a significant... Hello, what do you need? Equip tart. Okay. I don't have one of you either. Okay, so equip tart, some oodles. Nothing over there yet. All right, let's get some bait. Let's go see Dangling. All right, let's go see tur see Dangling. Look at me! I'm so tired. I'm sleeping while I'm. I'm sleeping while I'm sea dangling. Yes. Saw that farm cleaning. Getting lots of planklets. Now, if only we can get the little uh, machine to ask for planklets, we'd be good. Some nernies. Got to take naps between sea dangling, not during. Hey, when the nap calls. <laughs> the nap calls. <laughs> There's a nap on my agenda this afternoon. Ooh, I got gummies. Or a gummy. Okay, I think I'm out of bait. I'm out of energy, but I have plus 25% speed still for 30 seconds because I drank the coffee. Anything new? No. Okay, let's see. I need 
some mousse seeds, fluy seeds, cloth plant seeds. What's on sale today? Wait, how much were those? Because usually there's something on sale on special for the day and they're like cheap. That's always a good day to grab what's on special. I need moose seeds. She doesn't have any. Here, how much are you, will you, what do I have that you'll buy? Buy my curly horn. Buy that. I have a lot of planklets. Dubs, flutie flowers. All right, but no moose seeds, huh? Carrots, zanukas, fluties, sweetie beaters. Here, let's buy some sweetie beaters. Let's buy more than one, please. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's buy seven more. Okay. All right. We're good. I, get, I think my uh, my coffee wore off. Let's take a nap. All right. You could probably sleep for the night if they give us the option. Nope. Take a nap. I know. She needs more coffee. We can do some late night farming. Well, what is an ooblet doing there? That ooblet can go somewhere else and get out of my way. Ooblets. Blitz. Here we go. That'll water that section. Might as well burn up the last of this little energy we have. Um, so you gotta take a lot of naps in the game. No, you don't have to take naps at all in the game. Um, you can eat food. To, it's just like any of the other games. You can eat food or um, to replenish your energy. But I just napped instead. I used all my energy. We can go to bed now. Don't want to waste that energy. Come on, you could have gave me that extra nine points. 
game I did good okay who needs something today Outgrid needs a Borgus. All right, first we need to. Put some sweet readers in there, get some fructose. Who's making us fructose? How about Hermble? Get to work, bruh. All right, can I use this yet? Now you need something planted there too. Um, oh. Let's get some sweet abetas. These are all still growing. How you, oh, there's weed. Almost need to be okay. And because it was one tile over from where, you know, from their section, they didn't pull that weed. Jerks. We're gonna make slow and steady progress on this uh, farm. I feel like I can make more progress now that I know how the oob houses work. All right, then we need to plant something else. Maybe they have some moose seeds at the uh, store today because we need moose. Oh, hold on, I wanna put the rest of those sweetie beaties in there. There we go. Work, bruh. Work. Give me moose seeds. What do we got today? Zanukas. Moose. Sweet beaties. Fluties. Spray beans. Cloth plants. I need to plant some of those. What to do, what to do. They're so expensive though. Let's plant the moose first. Maybe they'll go on sale. Eight. Oh wait. I would like that, thank you. This little dude has a pirate hat on. I need that. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, you can have my nernies. No, you may not have my sweet readers. Okay, what is this? Oh, empty shop. Oh, it's a bigger backpack. Or a backpack, period. Yeah, yeah, let's buy it. Where? Yeah, buddy. New backpack. I'm going to go in here and see something I really want. The purple bed is finally here. I need a bigger house. But I need 2,000 gummies. I don't have 2,000 gummies. Let's 
Let's make another oom house. needed a Borgus, right? I don't think I have any, but I can get some. Oh, okay. Let's go plant our new ooblet seed. And our uh, moose seeds. You go chase someone else. He's so proud of himself. He's over there making fruit toast. Okay. No, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see. Let's plant our new little friend here. Boom. And I think I have some fertilizer. Speedy grow. Boom. Look at him! It's a un it's a honey honey, a diminutive yet multi-layered ooblet sporting natural rings that resemble headbands. And also little red booties. Except for his booties are green. He's an unusual unhoney though. That's pretty cute. Get the weed out of there. All right. How's everybody doing over here? Y'all taking care of the stuff? Okay. Be good. All right. This grid is totally messed up. We're gonna have to move some things around. So let's just do this one right. Okay, you go there. You go there. You're not wondering whether a game you pitched to create uh, names for the little creatures for a freelancing side of years ago was this game. Uh, I don't know. Um, you'd have to look and see who the team was. Let me see. Okay. Now, see, the only thing I don't like about this, if I place this here, I automatically lose one planting spot around my oobs. 
if I place it here, then I need to use a sprinkler. Which I can't do from there anyway. I need to leave one spot. Let's do it this way. Can't place it there? Oh, because it's tilled. There we go. Right there. Until that spot. Boop. Move until that spot. Boom. Oh, one spot up. I'm one spot away. Remove. Till. Till. Right there. There we go. And then I will need to put a sprinkler there. Right there. Right there is where the sprinkler needs to go. Do I have any sprinklers? No. Of course I don't. What's that? A pop top. Okay, that's trash. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, we got fructose in there. Can I put anything else in there? No. Where we do what's here? A recipe piece. I spent all my money, so I can't uh, dye my hair. Boo, his his boo. Would you like to buy a hot dog or three? At the hipster cafe. I don't think they eat hot dogs at the hipster cafe. We can see what is on the board here today. Reconstitute 40 items to prove people actually use it. Okay. Did I accept that? Oh yeah. Let's double check and make sure. I did, okay. 40 items we need to reconstitute. That's pretty easy. I got some stuff I need to reconstitute anyway. Okay, fill that up and we'll come back and fill it some more. Hey, Michael the Epic, how are you? We got a bunch of wishies. What can we buy? 274. You can buy money. Plenty level two. Oh, we need this. We need the Pompadour juice recipe. Now we can use the juicer thing. Gotta go for now. Have a great time with your oops. See you among us tonight. Yes. See you at Among Us tonight. Have a good one. Send my love to Res, please. How are you, Michael? Let's expand our plenties. All right. That's all we're going to do for now. Okay. 
Mm -mm. This dude wants like all my money. He's not getting it. Oh, excuse me. I am picking up things. Oops. Alright, what do you need up here in your clubhouse on your board today? Shell bows. Okay. I don't have any shell bows. But if we can find some shell bows. Let's go picking up things in pe people's houses without their permission. She got an air carrot. Thank you. I'm stealing carrots out of people's refrigerators. Hey girl, hey. <gasps> Ooh, can I get there we go. Can I reach from there? No, it's gonna make me walk all the way around. I need all the clothlets I can get. I never have enough clothlets. This game is so much like Stardew Valley in that you can start playing and then like five hours later realize you're still playing. It is. Taryn, have you played this? Recipe fragment. You have not? Do you like like Animal Crossing and Story of Seasons and stuff like that? Go get this mushroom over here. Six quibs. Do I have six quibs? I think I have six quibs. Story of Seasons is uh, what used to be Harvest Moon. Before they lost the rights to, to the name. It's what, yeah, yeah, it's what, like I said, it's what used to be Harvest Moon before they lost the rights to the name. Um, and then they became Story of Seasons. Harvest Moon is not Harvest Moon anymore. I was trying to remind people of that uh, before they go out and buy Harvest Moon games because they have been really bad lately. No, it, that's because it's it's not Harvest Moon anymore. It was not the same company, even with that one that you that one that you bought, um, Gun. That's why they've been notoriously bad. Oh, 
Is anybody still playing? Um, I don't play very often anymore. I don't like the way they did did the Animal Crossing this time, like releasing things in um, like waves. And I think that's what lost me because I had to wait too long before. Um, I had to wait too long before there was new stuff to do because they were. Instead of like having everything out, they started releasing stuff that you could always do from the beginning in like seasons. Um, that was a game by a famous woman dev, wasn't it? Which one? What? Give me my figure. I think I have another one too. The little headband dude. The original Harvest Moon. I don't remember. Oh, he's a unusual, so I get a hundred gummies. Uh, I have played some of the Persona games. Are you looking at Persona 5? I got another badge. Scan 10 ooblets. And 80 wishies. Yeah, Story of Seasons. The Story of Seasons the that's out on the Switch that just came out like last month. I think it was last month. It might have been this month. I just bought it. Um, I bought it at launch. Um, it's Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, which is a remake. It is a remake of an older Story of Seasons game. Um, it is super fun, Taryn. I mean, it's got some pretty uh, limited custom uh, customizability, but you know, a lot of stuff we've been playing lately is not even old and it's still limited in its customizability. Um, hold on a second. Another 12. Um, and some pretty kind of heteronormative ideas, but again. Um, is there a demo of the Persona gun? I like Persona games. I'm not sure if they would be your kind of game. Funny thing is, uh, Taryn, actually it's the other way around. Um, Stardew Valley is like, an exact replica of the early of the early Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons games. You're not seeing one in the store. Do I have enough energy to get that? Nope. And that's why I like Story Seasons so much because, I mean, not Story Seasons, the um, Stardew Valley so much because I used to love the old Harvest Moon games. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm really enjoying Story Seasons. I leveled up. I did good.
Yeah, I really enjoy, um, I didn't enjoy, I gotta admit, I did not enjoy Persona 5 as much as I enjoyed like Persona 4 Golden. Um, what do I need for that fructose? Um, but it might have been the mood that I was in too. And I, but I absolutely loved Four Golden. I put so much time in Four Golden, it was kind of ridiculous. I keep hoping they're gonna, they, they will, uh, like release it for, um, switch i'd play the heck out of that i need to water these do i have my watering can so i uh, i don't know what you're doing right now can you please tell me i am playing ooblets um which is another of the like farming type games if you think along the lines of like Story of Seasons or, um, oh, I have one, uh, Story of Seasons or Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley and even certain components of Animal Crossing. I got another recipe. Mm -mm. So right now I'm just farming taking care of my farms. And so if you think like Harvest Moon meets Pokemon. Flutie sauce. Oh, I can use this thing now. Yeah, let's put them all in there. And we'll put an oobleid in there. Put that little dude in there and then over here we can make papa dude juice and we'll put that little dude in there yeah make some papa dude juice there we go Yeah, Gun Nino Cooney is the one that um, I think you've seen me and P play it. Um, if you get it, get the original. Don't get Nino Cooney two. It was not nearly as good. That's the that is you know that you know that one. That's the that's P's favorite like game ever. That is P's favorite game ever. In life, she says, will always be her favorite. Yeah, the second one was the second one was not nearly as good as the first, unfortunately. Let's see, what do I want to do here? Do I have any seeds? Or did I plant the seeds I got? I must have planted them. I did. Even when you had a stream on Mixer, you did not watch this, which sucks. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you, you found us now. Also, the story just broke your heart in the first one. I know. The first one was so good. And I was I had such like high expectations for the second one, Sakiana. I went and bought the like 
the big the big collector's edition i pre-ordered when they announced the game so i have some very cool collectibles for the second game i just did not like it as much as i liked the first game well the second one um isn't if you haven't you did you try the second one or just the first one Oh, hey, Brett. I know who you are now. Just the first one. And you don't know why. Well, try the try the second one then because they did they did change combat in the second one. You might want to give that one a try, especially if you already have it. And then you don't have to buy something new. Yeah, try the second one. You might like that one better. See, that's why I didn't like the second one. One of the reasons the story wasn't as good. For one, um, in my opinion, and the like, mechanically, the game just didn't gel for me. Hey, little dude, make me some more fruit toast. Let's go see if they got clothlets at a more reasonable price. What's the one special? Spring bean seeds. Eh, well, we'll buy some because they're on sale. Whoop, 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 Chinookas, Pompadoos, Fluties. I don't even think they have any oh, cloth plants. They're still thirty-two dollars. Yeah, I didn't think Persona would really be your jam. It was totally my jam because you know I love turn-based. But um, I would say try the, and go ahead and give a, I would go, if I were you, I would go ahead and install um, 10 Lopoli flowers. How many do I have? Nowhere near 10. Um, I would go ahead and give um, an install to Nino Kuni 2. You might like it. I have three. I should grow seven more. Oh, trash. I need this trash. The one that made you throw your controller. Oh, good. That was hilarious. Just be sitting there watching the stream and watch your controller fly out of your hand. Okay. Fill that puppy up. And ten wishies. What I get wishies for? Excuse me, sir. Alright. You did your part, I did mine. <gasps> what do you want? Oh, I have you already. You're just a different color.
she was like, hey, you can play the game. I'll just sit and talk to everyone. <laughs> I like Pokemon games personally, but you know, that's me. Taryn knows Pokemon, I do not. Well, there's only one way to learn Pokemon. It's to play the Pokemon. You're like, I don't want to play the Pokemon. I think that was my 40. Have you played? I have played Fall Guys. Um, I have played Fall Guys. I played it when it was in uh, open beta. It was just not my jam. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Bring three oodles. I don't even know if I know how to make oodles. Let me live my life. But I'll bring some. You love Pokemon. You've not played the, the generation from Diamond Pearl up. Oh, you have now. No, not? Oh, because you don't have a DS. Got you. You can probably get one super cheap now, tearing a DS. I played so many of the Pokemons. Oh, but the games are ridiculously expensive. What's ridiculously expensive? I guess because I think I've, I find them, um, I've seen them pretty cheap on um, like eBay. I don't know if you've tried there. Oh yeah, the have you yeah the eShop. Hello, Rose. I want that little dude there. Googling. Yeah, you can probably uh I checked the eShop. Kawhi, how are you? Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Alright, I said I was gonna um I said I was gonna end stream at 2 30. It's 2 39. Ooblets just sucks me in and I'm like stuck playing Ooblets. Happy Saturday. Cause uh, remember y'all, we're gonna be back at 9 p.m. Eastern. And we're gonna be playing some uh, among us we're gonna be playing some among us which is a it's a video game um it is a social deception game where we can have up to 10 can i get that from here i can, we can have up to 10 people play um one person oh really do i have anything to eat okay um one person can be a I don't want to eat those tarts. I need those. Uh, here, let's eat these. 
one person can be the traitor. And we have to figure out who it is. Uh-oh. Am I trapped back here? Okay. And we have to figure out who it is. Um, the game is... You can buy it on Steam. It is free with a suggested donation on itch.io, I believe. And it is also free on mobile devices on both Android and iOS. Kawhi, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. So I'm gonna put all the links for people up in the Discord as soon as I'm done streaming. Um, and we'll play that tonight for a while. Just hang out. I got that right. Up all night? Feels like it. IRL too, dude. I feel exposed. <laughs> Talk to double and make one. Being in the fray sounds fun. It can be. <laughs> it can be. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. There we go. It's my quest for today. Do we get the new contest code tonight? No. <laughs> it's a bonus stream. <laughs> we got one code. One code per day. Yeah, Fall Guys is free if you have PS Plus. It is, it is. Alright, I have to go take a nap or go to bed. Probably should go to bed. I wonder if it'll let me go to bed. Because it's so close to bedtime anyway. You get an A for effort. <laughs> Rose, what are you doing? So, there's the link to the Discord. Um, I'll post all the, the links um, in Discord for Among Us. And we'll be playing that tonight. If people want to join in, we can have up to 10 people play. You sure can, Taryn. I will do that. I will do that. Okay, hold on. How many quip tarts do I need? I need five whip tarts. I have four. Let's make two more. Rose, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right. You're not gonna let me go to bed? You're gonna make me take a nap? Okay. Uh, I don't do Cuphead. Um, soy. Oh, so yeah. Is it so, is it soya or so yeah? I don't do Cuphead. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to get... I got the seeds. Might as well plant them. I was supposed to get a sprinkler and I didn't get one. Did I plant them all? Alright, 
let's see. I think that's about all we're gonna be able to do tonight. It's late. Break this log. All right, sleep until morning. Yes. All right, let us see who is on, who we can. Host slash raid. Raid. Thank y'all for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. While well, we played some Darkestville Castle this morning, and then some Ooblets to just chill out this afternoon. Because that's always fun. Cause you need sleep. <laughs> I know. My night streams are so late for you, Taryn. My night streams are so late for you. I'm sorry. Let us... You know what, y'all? I might just let the auto hoster choose. I might just let the auto hoster choose because I'm tired. Mama? What? Um, I might just let the the auto hoster choose. Time zones are the worst. I agree. Cause I'm kind of wasted. I need a nap, y'all. Okay, let's see. So I'll let the auto host to choose. I will post the link in the Discord for Among Us. Thank you for hanging out. Late night streams or 4 a.m. streams for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Time zones are the worst. Idaho statues. Those two. Um, oopsie, sorry, I hit the mic. All right, we're gonna let the auto host to choose. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate y'all so much. I will see you tonight. Naps for the win. I do, I need one, something fierce. Um, all right, I will see y'all tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for some Among Us. Thanks for hanging out. Y'all know the drill be good to yourselves, be good to one another. Stay in the house if you can. Stay safe if you can't. Have a great Saturday afternoon. If I don't see you to if I don't see you tonight, have a great rest of your weekend and I'll be back Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for MMO Monday. All right, y'all. Take care. I'll tell I'll tell P y'all said bye. She sleep. She sleep. She knocked out on the floor. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.